uh, Dominic, thank you very much for clarifying that I did not say that Europe was a dispensable continent. Such. I think Europe is an indispensable continent, as you know, for inspiring the rest of the world to achieve zero prospect of war. And frankly, for inspiring the rest of the world to respect international law. And so in response to uh, Minister Badinter's comments about United States and international law, I wonder whether the panelists can solve one of the great paradoxes of our times. Why is it that a country that respects the rule of law so much at home, a country that has inspired so much of the writings and thinkings about international law, is at the same time a country that opposes vehemently the spread of international law? I mean, when I was president of the UN Security Council in May 2002, the United States delegation objected to the president of the ICJ coming to meet the Security Council for a dialogue. Just to have a dialogue, they objected to. When I was in the Security Council, the United States campaigned very hard to get American soldiers to be given immunity from ICC prosecution. So why is it you have this paradox of a country that respects the rule of law at home and fights against it globally, and can the panel solve this paradox? Well, if someone wants to answer that question, I have one quick answer, and it's one word, exceptionalism. Uh, it's very key word to understand American culture, the feeling that America is unique, and therefore that America cannot be judged by others. But I'm sure, uh, Yoshka. One, 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 one uh, short remark. Um, even the US, um, at the end, uh, had to follow uh, the course uh, in the direction of uh, um, uh, the International Court of Justice. Uh, Darfur, uh, it, this was the first time that the question was, the US was interested um, in having uh, an indictment for uh, uh, major war crimes in Darfur. And the question at that time was, uh, with Condoleezza Rice, how, how, sh how should be this done? And at the end, uh, it was quite clear it would have made no sense, uh, extremely uh, cost-intensive, in expensive, um, to create a specific Darfur uh, international court. And at the end, during, with the Bush administration, they accepted uh, to refer the case um, uh, to, the, um, uh, to the Hague. I think this was a, a positive turnaround that, at the end, American, exactly. most exactly. powerful nation uh, in our times, at the end, America also agreed de facto, not de jure, but de facto, uh, to the reality of the International Court of Justice.